Jason Frickie with Millbourne Seeds and here's what we've got growing on. We're out here in a field near Henry, South Dakota uh, and what the producer has done here with this cover crop, his main goal was to try to improve this soil. Uh, as you see in the background we're su surrounded by water so this is a low area and it's really high in alkali and, and we've got a big salinity concern. The spring was really wet high moisture, high rainfall all spring long and so the farmer wasn't able to get his normal cash crop in here and so we tried to take advantage of that situation we said well let's try to help out the the problem of this field with this alkali concern and so we came in here with a mixture of barley and sugar beets two crops that are known to stand up well with that situation and actually will tr will almost uh, soak up some of that salt on the topsoil uh, and, and get rid of that problem uh, at the same time, this producer uh, raises some cattle, and so if we could raise a forage out here, that was just going to be an added bonus. And so we used a variety of barley called Haybet, which is actually a beardless, a beardless variety, uh, and it doesn't produce an on. Uh, and so when you make hay out of this, you're not going to have that concern with the irritation of the eyes uh, and the mouth to a, to a cow, uh, so it just makes a higher quality, more palatable forage. Uh, we got a great stand of barley out here uh, and it's doing exactly what we wanted to do. When you open up this canopy and you start looking for the sugar beets, you can find them. You got to look a little bit hard. They're down there. Here's one here. Uh, pretty good taproot growth. Uh, the top growth probably it did not meet our expectations and I think what that concern is, we're surrounded by a game production area out here and you can see these leaves are really eaten, eaten up by insects and even pheasants I think uh, but but at the same time they're growing out here they're probably soaking up some of that salt uh, and so they're serving their purpose the producer is very happy with what we're seeing out here we're gonna soak up a lot of moisture for next year's cash crop and that's exactly what we wanted it to do uh, so I think this this cover crop has done a great job